what the Pope's position is in the Catholic faith is not determined by ideologists who abuse the people's authority for the agenda uh, 2030. But is, what this is, is already clearly defined by the Vatican uh, Council, First and Second Vatican Council. I, self, I wrote a thick book about it, who want to be informed and read this book. Uh, the Pope, his mission and his tasks, which came out uh, 2021 in the Catholic uh, um, University of uh, America Press. Um, and that, uh, therefore, uh, this would, I propose a respectful dialogue between grown up men who, because of the episcopal ordination, are appointed by Christ himself to be the shepherds of his church and to treat each other like brothers. And not like some time ago, in the U.S. Army, the Commander-in-Chief Eisenhower treated disparagingly the Army General George Patton, his best uh, man we have to look and to foster the good man we have and not to lose our time in this uh, superfluous, um, superfluous uh, challenges and, and, and struggles. And one of the challenges and struggles that seems someone like me the most superfluous uh, relates to the extraordinary form of the Mass, the Tridentine Rite or the, the Latin Mass as it's commonly called, mm -hmm. that... Um, those of us who are most loyal to the Institute of the Church, most accepting of the doctrine of papal infallibility, find it surprising that mm. this, our historic right, should be mm. under attack, and it's very hard to see the reason for it. What do you think the problems are? What's perceived to be the issue with it? I think there are not uh, d deep reasons for this, uh, for this uh, struggles. Because fathers of the Second Vatican Council wanted only a renewal of the liturgy and some small changes of the order, misa, the external rites, and above all, in our living participation in the mystery of Christ's suffering, death, and resurrection. This but completely misunderstood if the Latin rite, in its previous or new forms, is now viewed as hostile as a contradiction. Like Pope Benedict, I personally prefer the new right without running down those who love the earlier right and uh, then naming them traditionalists or backwards. There's no sense. A little more theology that distinguishes between the unchanging substance of the sacraments and the variable rights and more courage to brotherly love will get us out of the dead end of these complete useless arguments. We are to be united in the essentials of the faith in the three young God and Jesus Christ, so that the world may believe that he is a son of God, whom the Father sent to be the savior of the whole mankind. These questions are more and more important than the struggle about the external forms of the same substance of the Holy Mass.